Okay. No problem. We can deal with this. Looks like we got injured over here. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where this guy is. Shit. Okay, I think I might have gotten him. But hopefully this trader dude did not get down. That would really suck. No, he didn't. Can you give me my shotgun now? No, you cannot. Do I have a sleeping bag on me? Yeah, I do. Cannot sleep now. Uh, okay, I could have seen that coming, probably. P90. Don't want that. The thing was a piece of garbage. I guess we'll just go pick up the rest of these stashes now. There's uh, a couple out here. We didn't necessarily have to come in and kill all these guys to get the sashes, but it's just more spoils. Because I think they're on the opposite, yeah, they're on the opposite side of this fence by the looks of it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, this looks like it's in the underground portion. Underneath, we got some good stuff on this guy, but I already have an eliminator, and I might as well take the psychedelic. Bandage. Not interested in the ammo. Uh, bandage again. I don't know. I don't really care about any of this crap. Let's just get out of here. The stashes, I believe. Don't think there's going to be one in here. Grenade, that might be worth it. Okay, so here's their uh, main sort of stash location inside the base. I don't think this is what's showing up, but we'll steal that from them. What is this shotgun like? M1. Decent accuracy and very good damage. Actually, that's not very good damage. For shotgun, at least, that's fairly mediocre. Stack of money and scientific kit bag, that's really good. Three scientific med kits, and what can we drop? I don't really feel like keeping this uh, foul paratrooper. At least it gave us some uh, 762 ammo, some NATO rounds, and let's just check this guy to make sure. He does not have some kind of exoskeleton on him, maybe? I don't know. Wishful thinking. We got one, so we shouldn't be greedy here. Again, not interested. Okay, so this stash, uh, I'm, I know one of them is going to be in the little underground segment under here. We'll see. Okay, looks like there's one... Yeah, that's going to be the underground one. This one should be just over here. I remember this one. I think this is a vanilla stash. Actually, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, what do we have? Uh, not bad. Let's check out our loot. We got a perfectly good condition SG550. Which is... I don't know. Is it worth more than the SVU? Probably not. It's worth more than this thing, that's for damn sure. Actually, no, maybe not. Maybe that's the weakest weapon I have right now. Let's just drop this here. Because the upgraded weapons... Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I saw it, too. I ran right into it. Ugh. Okay, that was a failure. That was a failure. We are just going to run back in here. Grab up the toolbox stuff. There we go. Uh, we're not overweight. Yet. And where is the money? I know the, the scientific kit bag. Okay. Now we're going to run out here, shoot the mine, before running into it. That's probably a good idea. Where is it? Got some lighting issues from the fog here. Or some shadow issues. Just some uh, weird sort of sun boxes. Okay, we don't want this. I already established that much. And actually, let's just dump this instead. Uh, I don't know. We'll take the the foul and we'll dump this, I guess. Because we were underweight. No, not anymore. We picked up some kind of pistol from that. Oh well, we can still run at least a little bit. 
Okay, so now we're going to go in the tunnel down here. Stash is... Where's the stash? Here it is. Okay, what do we have? Um, is that a 590? Yeah, I think so. This is probably the least valuable thing that I've picked up so far, and we'll drop the foul. Simply because there's no chance I'm going to be using that. Uh, actually, you know what? Whatever. Let's just pop a Hercules if we have one. And there we go. Crisis averted. So let's just uh, go check on that guy with the shotgun one last time. I would have thought by now. I haven't been checking the clock, which I probably should have been keeping an eye on. But I'm fairly sure it's been an hour in game. The, the time passes pretty quickly. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, regardless, we'll check on him one last time. If he has the shotgun, great. If he doesn't, boo-hoo. And he does not have the shotgun. Does he have anything else I would like to buy, though? Oh, there we go. Just in time. Marauder shotgun. 22,000. That's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. Okay, take this sucker. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry for killing everyone you've ever known here. Not my problem, though. Marauder, 104 damage, 140 RPM. That is pretty damn good. Okay, we got a bit of a suit issue here, but... Yeah, not too bad. This is that freedom guy I sort of accidentally killed. Why was he in here, though? How could you blame me for killing him when he was clearly not supposed to be in here? Maybe he was uh, a conspirator or something, working against freedom. He was a mole. Okay, we are going to not walk this way because I'm still sure that there is a mine on the bridge that we want to avoid at all costs. And now that we've picked up this fire hog, we can go disrupt that, uh, what's it called, the sort of space anomaly, the time-space anomaly over at the cooling towers and we'll get the PDA, we'll give it to the freedom dudes if they're not already pissed at us for killing their own guys. I'm sure they won't be because uh, if they're anything like bandits then they won't even know I killed them. And why would they know I killed them? We're going in the wrong direction here, let's just cut through this place. Hopefully not run into any mutants, although we do have a shotgun now so shouldn't be a problem even if we do. You know, this looks like a, a good place for a stash. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? If I could only get up here. Come on, jump, jump, jump. There, no, 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 no. Jump! God damn, okay. There we go. We gotta drop something now. This can go. And we're fine after that. What did we even pick up? I didn't even check. I think it was probably this thing. The storm grows a... No, 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 never mind. That's my storm grows a... I have no idea what I just picked up. Maybe this thing? The thunderstorm? Who knows? And who cares? It's just going to become spare parts down the line, so... Not really too big of a deal. Oh! Okay, I thought that was uh, being directed at me there for a second. The glitches on this uh, suit are a little bit annoying here, but we'll deal with it for this kick-ass shotgun. And this is actually pretty cool. The shotgun model, at least. Okay, holy mother of god. That is a lot of bandits. Do we have F1s? Please tell me we have F1s. Nope. So we are not even going to deal with this right now. I've been sort of uh, dropping the ball on the bandit murder. Sorry about that. I know you guys tend to enjoy me blowing away bandits with shotguns at point, point blank range. But uh, I don't think I can easily survive an encounter like that out in the open. So why bother? If I had an F1, I could have just chucked one in the middle and then watched them all blow up magnificently. Okay. 
And we got the snorks there. Okay, got the bandage done. This is a really cool looking shotgun, I gotta admit. There's no problems with the actual model, it's just the the suit sort of uh, sleeves. The exosuit's glitching out. Whatever though, not gonna let it bother me. Hopefully, if I upgrade this thing, like accuracy is probably not super important since it is a shotgun after all. The spread doesn't seem all that bad. So hopefully if we use it more, uh, we'll get a sense of what the uh, weapon characteristics are like. And we'll be able to use it more effectively. So, you know, nail the range and the sort of accuracy stats. Just get those in our heads so we know at what range we need to pull this thing out and just start unloading. And again, apologies if I seem a little bit, uh, or if my voice seems a little bit odd in this recording. I do still have the remains of a cold, so I am a bit congested. Kind of sick of it, to be honest. There is something going on over here that I don't really care about. I just want to get rid of all this loot. Hopefully the fog clears, because I don't really want to have to deal with fog. Um, uh, I'm not interested in cash, I'm interested in spare parts. So we'll go stash all this away, no matter how good the condition is on it. Okay, that is going to be spares. This is going to be... no, that's not going to be spares. This is... this is not... this is... This is... All the pistols now. Have no use for these weaselly little pieces of garbage. Uh, no offense if you like pistols, but I just don't see the point. In this mod, at least, they're sort of more vanilla than anything, and they're just woefully unsatisfying to use. The accuracy, the recoil, everything just seems sort of ho-hum on pistols. Uh, ammo, what do I not need? I don't need any 45, don't need any 9 by 39 Shotgun rounds do need those, I do need, actually. I don't know why I was stashing those. Pistol rounds, spirag detector no longer necessary, scopes no longer necessary, tail, beer, nuts, chocolate, smokes. Not smokes is in cigarettes, smoke is in uh, smoke grenades. I have a bad history with smoke grenades in case you uh, have not seen any of my early people soup videos. I always mistake smoke grenades for regular grenades in that mod. And looks like we're good now. So we'll pick up some more 545 here, and of course the ammo that I did stash. We might run into some serious sort of shit in Pripyat when we get there, so I might want to take some grenades with me. Just take one box of ten. Shotgun shells, definitely take some of those. I might repair this and see what kind of stats it can give me. It might be really good, and this thing really sort of starts to suck when you, you get it worn down, but I don't know, maybe the Dawn XO is something I should strive for. We'll see. Just take AP rounds with us. And we are good. Let's go repair our suit at Nitro's old repair shop. See how much the, uh, the Merc XO... It's going to cost to repair, because this thing is going to be 5500 that's really not too bad. 400 I can definitely deal with that. The Groza, 3000 Okay, that wasn't bad. So how much is this going to set me back? 14000 Tell you what I'm going to do here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take Psychedelin, which I thought I didn't have for a second there. Quick save it, and then repair this thing. Just to see if it's worth it. Okay. 15 grand. What are these stats like? Worse in every way, but uh, I paid 15 grand. How much can I sell this for? Aloha! 82, are you kidding me? Okay, that's clearly not I'll worth it. Sometime. So let's load my last quick save. Okay, uh, Nitro is going to do a little crab walk thing to get back into his chair 
We're not going to repair that merc suit. We are going to sell it immediately to Hawaiian. For whatever measly... Oh, we can't even do that. Let's... Never mind. Let's just save it for spares. Realistically, the Exo should give you, like, a monumental amount of spares, considering the amount of, like, servo motors and extraneous sort of parts that are all over it. I would think. I mean, I call, call me crazy, but I would think that you should get, like, 30 spare parts out of something that significant. And we're at 81. How much do we have spare weight-wise with this thing? We have 91. That is very surprising. Um... And we can always put our artifacts on this thing, too. So we're going to take this down to the underground because I'm pretty sure if I were to just wear my uh, Duty Exo in the first section of that underground, I would just beat the hell out of the suit. It would just get chewed up. Chewed up. Not chewn. I don't think chewn's even a word. Maybe it is. Anyways... The plan now is to simply run back over to the cooling tower, even though we were never there in the first place this session. Disrupt the uh, space-time field over there. Get the PDA, give it to the Freedom Boss, and hopefully get Strider on our team by the end of the session. It'd be a real bummer if we couldn't. But I believe this will give us a massive boost to whatever faction we give the PDA to. I believe. I could be wrong. I've definitely been wrong before on stuff like this. Let's put our Marauder on in the uh, secondary slot. And we'll get a chance to use it now. Okay, we're roughly three shotting flesh pigs, depending on whether we get a headshot or not. We got a flesh eye out of that. Big whoop. I guess we can use that for something later on. For now, though, what is going on over here? Those don't look like enemies, so I'm not going to mess with them. And they're not. Require immediate assistance. We won't hold out for more than three. Okay, bro. I understand. I'm coming. I'll save you. At least I'll save your corpse. Okay, now let's watch this unfold. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always laugh when I see those guys just fall out like that and sort of ragdoll down the uh, the face of this cooling sort of... I, I don't know what this is. This looks like a dam to me. I don't know if it actually is, because this could be like a lake bed. It, although, no, that wouldn't be a lake bed, because there's the Apache Village right there. I don't know, but to me this definitely looks like some sort of dam. Anyways, the duty commander... We got more spare parts here. We are going to have spare parts coming out of the ass when we're done with this. Okay, where is the commander? Here he is. Okay. Whichever way we go, we always end up at the same exact spot. I hate I it when that happens. I still can't get used to this fog. It's weird. The Chaburni disappeared without a trace. Maybe he found a way out? B6. We have run out of water. The colonel flipped his lid and shot two people at point-blank range and then himself. Now I'm on my own in this damn anomaly. If I hadn't fixed for our communications with HQ to go down, they could have rescued us. And duty wouldn't have existed. I wonder how things would have turned out. Ah, screw it. That Captain Tachenko died a long time ago. And this General Tachenko of duty will follow him. That's justice, I suppose. Okay, so needless to say, that is going to be very valuable to any of the Freedom dudes, or Freedom high-ranking officials, if you will. What's up? So we are really going to hope this pushes us over. I really have a feeling it will. I found the Duty Founders PDA. First of all, we're going to quick save just in case. Come on in, man. Relax. I'm interested. Take a load off. Uh, wow, that's real interesting. They keep spreading their bullshit propaganda throughout the zone. But as it turns out, their own history is full of crap. I'd love to give this a thorough read. Listen, I'll pay you well for this BDA. Take it! Okay, so we got an AS Val co Combat Tactics, uh, an SG-550, and SG-550 Combat Tactics, which might be really good. Okay, so now that want to join Freedom. 
They're peaceful. Yes! We did it! Okay, take recruitment officers to the former Monless squad. Alright, let's do it. Uh, are we going over there now or something? Oh, I'm here about accepting. Okay, have them follow me. Alright, so we'll teleport over there. And sort of initiate them into the ranks of freedom. You know, I think they belong more in duty considering their, uh... Why do you stand I don't know. I really don't know. Let's talk. I prefer freedom, to be honest. I, I do like the, the freedom faction a lot more than I like duty. We but that's just personal the preference. Of our members and, other stalkers, and we believe that the zone is open to all. Being the greatest gift humanity has ever received. It's an opportunity to take a tremendous leap in our development, and everyone needs to understand that. Who will commend us? We don't have a strict hierarchy. Earn our respect, and you get plenty of followers. However, when on the mission, we obey the commander's orders without question. So, any questions? When can I start? So, right, buddy? welcome yeah. to freedom. Cool. Great. <laughs> cool. That's just what we need. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to bash the game at all, but really, the English I'll voice acting is pretty abysmal. It's kind of hilarious, Why but, not, uh... Bro? So here we go, we can talk to Strider. I'm putting a squad together to go to Pripyat, will you join us? Uh, I'm more than curious to find out what happened to us there, but I can't go now. I can't leave my boys here. They've been through a lot. Okay, so we gotta wait until he gets back to the station. Well, spill it. So, uh, we'll walk back there, I guess. What's loading us down? Uh, we are only 0.5 kilograms over. Let's just drop... I don't know. All this is in really good condition. Let's just drop one of these. There we go. Okay, are you guys gonna follow me, or are you just gonna wait around here? Okay, well, they're, I think they're going to make their own way. Whatever. I'm not going to wait for them forever. So, it looks like we have a pretty decently full squad. I'll run back to the station and I'll help Vano up to the, uh, the watchtower that Zulu's in just to get that started. And then I'll, of course, come back and hopefully Strider will be back at the station by then. And then, of course, I'll uh, get him over to meet uh, Zulu. And then, next episode, I might make the next sort of episode or session a Megasode, because it's going to be, of course, the um, Jupiter Underground, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I did that for Misery as well. I made that a, a Megasode, too. So, maybe. Not guaranteeing anything at this point, but uh, I think it's safe to say... Um, you could assume that that will be at least an hour-long episode. Yes, going in the right direction. I sort of know my way around this place now without the map, but still, I do occasionally run in the wrong direction. So yeah, this fog has been going on for probably a good half of this session so far. I'm kind of sick of it. And I don't know if I should upgrade the night vision on this helmet. I I kind of don't like the the tier three. Tier two's not bad. I might go for that. But the tier one stuff seems to work fine for me. I mean, I don't really mind it at all. So duty's probably a little bit pissed at us now, but not enough to shoot us on sight. Hello. We're not in freedom after all. That's the duty side. What's up, bro? Uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to Vano. Okay, Vano. I'm putting a team together. Go to Pripyat. Want to join me? You will need a closed cycle respiratory module. A suit with a closed cycle resp respiratory module. I could give you money for the suit. Here, take five grand. That's nothing for a SIVA suit. What the hell is this? PYP PY45 combat tactics. What the hell is that thing? Okay, whatever. Let's go see Zulu. I will use that combat tactic What's later. Up?
Okay, Zulu, my man. I've got another soldier here for us. Mm, Sylvan was along for the ride, eh? Great. We've got ourselves someone to carry all our supplies. <laughs> Watch what you're saying, man. He's probably one of the best of all of us to go into this mission. The least useful is probably Strider with his SBU. Uh, he can be useful during the Monolith fight, but I don't know. Doesn't seem to be all that great. Especially against the mutants, that's where he can take the most damage. Woof, beautiful sunset here. Okay, now hopefully Strider will be back in the station by this time. Looks like a bit of time did pass. Uh, where is he? He's going to be on the freedom side now, I'm assuming. I'm listening, man. But where in the freedom side? That is the question. He's not in the doctor's room. He's not going to be in the bathroom here. We do have a grenade in the toilet. And that is kind of weird. Okay, maybe he's in the, the boss's room here? I don't... It doesn't look like he's made it so far. So what we are going to do is run down, sleep the night. And then... Is he down here? No. Okay, we'll sleep until... Let's say 11 o'clock. I don't know. That's a bit late. I just want to give him a chance to get back here. And the fog definitely did not clear. Looks like it might have even gotten thicker. I'm listening. So, is he here? He's usually at this table, but I don't know if that's just if he goes into duty. Okay, he's not here. He's not sitting by Yar. Is that... Yeah, there he is. Okay. Uh, I'm putting a squad together. Go to Priviet. Will you join us? Um, yeah, he'll go. He wants to find out what happened. So let's go take him... Or we'll tell him he's a, a suit, but he already has one. And then let's go see Zulu. There we go. The leader Good achievement. Job. There we go. We got everyone together. Okay, hello Zulu again. As part of a set, this is Strider, a former monolith fighter. Didn't realize there were former monolith fighters. Oh well. We'll see what he is like when the real shit starts. Okay. So, we can ask him a bunch of questions, but I'm not interested in any of his answers at the moment. We are just going to end the session here. And pick it up next time. Uh, thanks for watching very much. If you enjoyed this, then please give me a like. It does help out. And I'll see you next time when we are going down into the deep and dark Pripyat underpass. See you next time, guys.